What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. And in today's video, we have an elite jersey review comparison with the Nike Limited jersey review. These are the same exact size in reference. This is a 2XL and this is a size 52. Now, I just put up a video on sizing, comparing both of these on body for you guys. Both these jerseys are 26 inches pit to pit. So Nike actually did it correctly when it came to their football jerseys. They just need to get the basketball team on board because the basketball team's retarded. All right. With that being said, we're going to take a look at some of the differences. I'm also going to put pictures up so you guys can see still pictures of some of the differences. And that is pretty much that. All right. So the first things we're going to look at is the NFL Shield logo. Now, they're both exactly the same. And so is the chain mail. All right. So as we look at the limited jersey, we have an exact same NFL Shield logo, that metallic Shield logo. It's always so nice to see. And then you have the chain mail, which is what it's on. And that's for reinforcement. Of course, it makes sense to put that on the elite jerseys, but they wanted to give some love to the limited jerseys. Now, limited jerseys, you can say is the swingman version of NFL jerseys. They all come stitched. Nike, again, the NBA line should learn from these guys because they give quality jerseys for $150 retail. And of course, you can always find these on sale. The elite jerseys also come stitched and have a little bit more different material. And we're going to get into all of that. All right. So as we look at the neck tag, you see the neck tag right there. That is a screen print neck tag and on the elite you have a stitched neck tag all right so just to kind of get this out the way you have a stitched neck tag with the numeral sizing and on the double xl you have dry fit material both made in honduras but this one's a screen print on which is really nice and comfortable Actually, I wouldn't mind if the NFL Elite jerseys did it, but they're actually both comfortable. You really don't feel the neck tags either way. All right, so let's get to the Lamar Hunt patch. And as you can see, the A and the football is just a little bit more detailed in the Lamar Hunt patch on the Elite jersey. All right, I'm also going to take a still picture of it side by side so you could kind of see. But that is the Lamar Hunt patch on the Elite. And then this is the Lamar Hunt patch on the Limited jersey. Okay. Take a look at the A, the football, even the bird. Has a dimensional embroidery to it. And even the stars and everything else you can see on the Limited. It's just a little different. All right. Let's talk about the sleeves. So on the sleeves, you have an embroidered Nike symbol on the Limited jersey. And then you have a Nike patch on the Elite jersey. And then we talk about the sublimated design on the sleeve. And then on here, you have a screen print on the sleeve on the Limited. All right. Of course, Elite jerseys are now coming with the cuff. I'm thinking every NFL team has gone to this cuffed style sleeve. Where the Limited jerseys, you're never going to get a cuffed sleeve. You're always going to get the sleeve like this. All right, so that is another thing. Perforations on the limited jerseys don't exist, and you'll see perforations on the elite jerseys. Now, the jock tags are both satin jock tags. This one has a size 52 on the label, and then on this one here, you have satin jock tag as well, but it has double XL on the label. All right. Inside tags are going to be the same exact thing. Both made in Honduras. And your inspection stickers. And your production date sticker. All pretty much the same. And that's going to be the same as well on this. Of course, all dates are different. But yeah, pretty much the same thing you'll get on this. All right. Let's take a look at the stitching. Okay, so on a limited jersey, you get a stitched application, which is great for durability. If you wanna wash it, stuff like that. If we take a closer look, you see the red in the application, and then you have your yellow stitching around the 15, 
All right. Now on this jersey, you have a double layered tackle twill, very thick tackle twill. The red is just stitched to the yellow part. The yellow part is actually stitched to the jersey on this particular jersey. I mentioned this in my review of this jersey. This will probably come in a kiss cut. So you would probably see a red twill with the yellow stitching to the jersey. And so, yeah. So there's going to be some differences in the stitching on that part. Now, let's take a look at the back. You have a nameplate on both the Elite and the Limited jerseys. Both of them are stitched. Really well done. You have your 15. And again, the Limited uses some of the Elite, I guess, design. And you have that upside down Y on the back of the jersey to kind of replicate the upside down Y on the Elite jerseys. So they do a better job on the limited jerseys, hiding the Y underneath the stitch twill, which is really good because you don't see this annoying fucking line through the twill. And then the nameplate, they do a good job on both nameplates. Pretty well done, in my opinion. You see the perforations on the bottom portion of the upside down Y on the elite jersey and on the limited jersey not only it's the same material it's also no perforations so there's that all right now the major difference between the two so both of them are stitched yeah there's a little bit differences in stitching but the main difference between the two is material what nike calls it is a stretch woven material so this is a spandex like material it has stretch to it now as you can see you can even tell the way the jerseys fall. This one is more like a t-shirt, the limited jersey. So it falls on your body a little bit differently than this one. And as you can see in my sizing review, this one has actually a lot more room on the bottom part. Where this one kind of forms to your body, so it forms to your lower, to your waist area a little bit more, just like a t-shirt would. Because it's a little more stiff, the material that is this jersey pretty much fits you the same on the top but on the bottom part this one has a little bit more room where this one kind of sits and lays like a t-shirt so i will say the materials are very very different this one also repels water so if you sprinkle water on it i'm not going to do it i've done it before in the past and just made my whole floor wet but this one repels water so if you're in a light little sprinkle shower um, you'll probably be dry by the end of the game, for sure, if you're going to the game. This one is a little different. It's not going to repel the water. Shit like that. All right. So you're paying for the material more than anything. For the most part, of course, you're paying for licensing and a whole bunch of shit that we pay too much money for anyway. Maybe if you're going to the game, an elite jersey at that point would make more sense. If you're talking about just for casual, honestly, you can go either way. It's whatever your pockets can afford, all right? So that's pretty much the difference at the end of the day is the materials of the jersey. Now, yeah, there's a little bit more detail in the elite jerseys. There's a little bit more performance based stuff being that this is supposed to replicate the on-field jersey that the players actually wear. So of course there's differences in that. If that means anything to you, then yeah, I would say go with the elite jersey if that's more important. But as far as everyday wear, everyday hanging out, watching the game on a Sunday, on your couch or with your friends at a bar, to me at that point, speak to your wallet and see if it makes sense on which direction you wanna go. Both jerseys are fantastic jerseys. Both jerseys are great jerseys. If you can get this on a steal, it's even better. If you can get this under 300 bucks, great. If you can get this under $150, great. Because that's where it would make more sense to get either one. All right. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I spoke a lot. I'm just trying to give you as much information as I can. Check out my sizing video on these two jerseys. They're pretty much the same size up top, but a little bit different on the bottom. All right. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. We out. Peace.